What's up, everybody? It's Johnny Brown. We're with Hot Scene, coming to you live on Tuesday night. It is Tuesday. I thought it was Thursday. It's not. It is not. Not yet. It's eight o'clock. It's Tuesday. You're watching America's number one rated haunt chat, Hot Scene Live. Welcome to the show, Melissa Lukak, my amazing co-host. Happy birthday, Melissa Thank Lukak. Thank you. I just turned thirty. Uh, Woo! I still look like I'm yeah, my early absolutely. 20s. Absolutely. You know what's nice about when you have a birthday dinner? <laughs> yeah. You spend it with your friends. Oh. And what did you do? Like right in the middle right of the table. Right in the middle of everybody. Not at the end. Yeah. In I, the middle. I, I, I don't know. Okay. It's I'll crazy. remember that for next year on my 31st birthday. That's cool. Okay. Right, sorry about good. that. I do apologize. Anyways, welcome to the show. Uh, tonight we've got two amazing folks. We've got a, a twofer tonight. What? Uh, this guest, even though we've been to their haunt several times, yeah. we've never had them on the show. Yeah. Nobody's had them on the show. Not yet. No, it's first crazy. time. Oh, I ready? mean, what what better way to start off as, you know, the best haunt news show out there? The haunt, the number one rated haunt chat? <laughs> well, I mean, that's, that's up to you guys. So <laughs> when you're in the chat here, please make sure you use a like and heart and all that stuff. If you have any questions, please put them in there. Let's go ahead and bring on our guests, plural. What am I going to do now, Melissa? You're going to unmute them, Johnny. I am going to unmute them. <laughs> What's up, everybody? We've got Alex and we've got Craig from Fright Nights at the South What's up, Florida Alex and Craig? Fairgrounds. What's up, guys? Welcome to the show. Welcome. I've, not, I've met Alex, but I haven't, I've never met Craig You've before. never met the famous artist Craig McGinnis? I have never met Craig, no. I don't, never, I don't think I have, no. You've never bought a painting? From Craig McGinnis. I have not. Nice, Johnny. Nice. Uh, so get, let, the promo, get the promo out of the way, brother. There we that go, was, right? That was set up perfectly. Oh, wait, look away. Here. Look focus. Away. Focus on the picture. There we go. Okay. Nice. Yeah, yeah, buy all the things. So let's do this. We I, always I do the... Know. I mean, I could buy one this year. You could. Yeah. And yes. Tyler could go and pick it up and for And Tyler you. can go pick it up That's for right. me. Okay, it's perfect. For something. He is the intern. Awesome. So in the Jesus, beginning of the Tyler. show, we do what's called the elevator pitch. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourselves and talk about what you do for the haunt and anything else that you want to plug. Like uh, Craig, make sure you, you plug your 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 art. Go ahead, Alex. You're on top, buddy. <laughs> Always. Hey, oh, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Alex Rodriguez. I'm the uh, Fright Nights uh, operation manager that uh, pretty much have a great team behind me supporting um, what we do the best. So. That sounds like a very humble uh, it is. description. It is. He's I have a, a lot of hats. Guy, but, yeah. you know, I Alex, uh, Alex is a cool guy. I like Alex. Yeah, Alex is I'll, awesome. I'll, I'll add on to Alex's thing before I even talk about what I do, because what I do is actually a small <laughs> fraction compared to what Alex does. If you split the pie up, Alex does 75% of the pie. I can't do that with my hands. And I do the other 25. So operations means... The guy programs lights, he's messing with soundtrack, he's looking over the, the actor list, he makes sure the paperwork is produced, he makes sure that the the midway gets set up, he makes sure that the stage gets set up, he makes sure, I mean, dude, seriously, it's 75% Alex. Wow. Mm -hmm. So his name, Still a little bit. his name to Fright Nights. I, I should have had, I should have had them introduce each other. You should have, yeah, yeah. it would have been perfect. No, no, because Alex isn't keen on me right now because I put out three things with typos in the last three days. Yep, that's, yep. That's all right. It's okay. Johnny does that I, sometimes. And no, I have hey, to, hey, hey. And I, I spot it out. I'm like, Johnny, this, this is Alex, wrong. like, messaged me on, like, Friday night. And he's like, hey, I can't make it tonight. And I'm like, cool. Where it shows on Tuesday. And then, uh, <laughs> that's all right. We're all, we're all here now. So it's all good. Uh, but, yeah, <laughs> I, I appreciate the enthusiasm. Uh, but, yeah. It's uh, more, yeah, it's so, more like a test, really. You're like, oh, you passed the test. He yeah. did. Yeah. Craig, no, you know, I'm talking about you when you make typos. I, I, when was the last time I made a typo? You made a few, I don't, can't remember. But exactly. I <laughs> That's right, because I, I spell check my stuff now. Okay, good. Right, good I sit good. here obsessively for 10 minutes okay. and looking good. over spelling. Spell check. Spell check I, I guarantee you something will be spelled wrong in this episode. Okay. Craig, tell us who you are, what you do with the haunt. Uh, my, my pitch is that I am creative director of Fright Nights, and I kind of stumbled into this, um, into this role by accident. Alex and I kind of came up from literally from being set designers and actors to uh, starting to run this thing on all, all levels. And uh, so as creative director, I kind of am shoulder to shoulder with the creative team as they talk about logistics with Alex and talk about more about, you know, how it's going to be perceived and what's going to be the creative edge and what's going to be the vision for the house with me. And then everybody, everybody comes together to uh, make each room as killer as it can be. And that is uh, that is a that is a group effort. So mine is more of a um, 
I'm, I'm looking at the uh, big creative picture and Alex is looking at the big logistic picture, which is again, way harder. Mm -hmm. I got the easier job. I'm a professional artist, so this is what uh -oh, I specialize uh -oh. in. Oh God! Uh -oh. What would you do? Now, now, now we got Craig here split in half. We've <laughs> we've we've opened up the multiverse. Awesome! There we go. That was Both though. Sorry, guys. That's Where's the all workbook? right. So yeah, that's it. I'm a professional artist, and I I work for Fright Nights. Um, I work for the South Florida Fairgrounds on a few occasions, other than Fright Nights, but mostly Fright Nights, and that's because I went out there. 18 19 years ago as a set painter and nice. it's just uh it's been a great uh, journey since that's how i met alex and that's how we started working together awesome uh, i see some very familiar names in the chat what's up steven what's steven up everybody Conkle. hey if you work for fright nights what's make up, sure you buddy? comment let us know that you work for fright nights one of our favorite south florida haunts mm -hmm. um and uh how long has fright nights been going and and uh actually let's let's just go over that question first alex Fright Nights has been going on for uh, 2002. Wow. We had a, wow. uh, yeah, we had um, a couple guys that are still on our team, Jeremy um, Schroeder and Brad Kane, who actually came first before us and started doing the whole set designing and building their haunt. And then they brought um, us on board on just acting. They brought Craig in for painting. And um, Craig actually had his own haunt the next year. And then Craig brought me on as his actor and, from there on, we've been, no, well, it's been great. Yeah, yeah. It was a, it's a crazy thing how, how it all turned out. I mean, it literally was that. I got, I got my hands on one of the haunts, one out of three of the haunted houses. Alex was like my ace, like my house leader. He scared the devil out of everybody who came through his room. Nice. And uh, I was like, I, and I didn't realize at the time that he was uh, so creative and so uh, into building houses, designing houses, uh, and just the whole mood in general of, of what it takes to make a room or a house scary. Mm -hmm. So uh, we teamed up on a house and then that turned into all the houses and then that's what got us where we are now. So yeah, it took yeah. It only took 18 years, no. It <laughs> happened, uh, I think we started making the transition, Alex, probably in 07, 08 is when we kind of got our hands on the steering wheel, 06, 07, yep. somewhere. Yep. So if you've never had a chance to go down to Fright Nights at the South Florida Fairgrounds, uh, they're going to get you. It is one of the, uh, and we love all haunts, obviously. But, yeah, of course. But as far as like scare per foot ratio, is that actually a scare thing? Scare per foot. Um, it is now a thing. Uh, <laughs> oh, I've yeah, never heard yeah, of that. We have the highest square, put, <laughs> square per foot ratio in North America. It is now. Uh, John uses a lot of big words. Two square the, per foot? Yeah. Okay. Now you've a plethora. Myriad? <laughs> cornucopia? Wow. Plethora. Yes. I plethora. love your I love your verbiage. Yeah, but you love yes. my you love my verbiage. I love yes. Am I eloquent? Yes. Okay. Very there you much. Go. <laughs> All right. So uh you gotta put this on your list. You gotta do it this year. Pull that trigger. If you're in the Orlando area, it's not too far. I know that's kind of where our uh, home base is. Totally worth the trip. We'll talk about some other hunts in the area a little bit uh, later, but uh, Fright Night South Florida Fairgrounds, we've got some details here. Let's take a look at this. Hopefully I spliced in everything correctly. And uh, so Fright Nights this year, go to myfrightnights.com. It is gonna be select nights October 7th through October 30th. So we were talking earlier about having Halloween off. So that's kind of cool for you guys nice. this year. So maybe you guys can get out and do some, uh, some haunts there. And here is your calendar this year. So what, what? four we'll be weeks. Down, what the fourteenth to the sixteenth? Oh, uh, we will be there. We will be at Friday nights on Saturday, October sixteenth. Yay! Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll be we'll, we'll we're doing a whole there. South Florida so, trip yeah. that that weekend. So uh, definitely put that in your calendar. So we'll everybody here, Saturday, Melissa, Melissa, 16th. lean in a little bit and yes. smile, smile, smile the camera. Okay, everybody, remember this girl right here. Okay, when you see this one. This one is not expendable, Honey, but the other three that I'll be with are expendable. Okay. So I so need Melissa means, back. That means don't. I mean, get her. Get, okay. Is that but, what you're trying to say? Yeah. Wait, we have Lily now. Yeah, Lily is our, our new member. We've got our new character. Our you new have to throw Lily cat. at them. Yeah, that's remember? fine. That's fine. Okay. So yeah, remember these faces. Okay. Uh, we've been there a couple times. Had an amazing time every time. As a matter of fact, uh, last time in 2019, uh, Melissa and Tyler went down for a second oh, yeah, round. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, when we went, they have the exit doors. I tried to run out the exit, and you pulled me back. 
Oh, you were going to check it out? <laughs> I was going to check it, and I was going to push the door, and you pulled no. me back. We, we don't do that. <laughs> there's no chicken in Hansi. There's no, there is, there, about, there's chicken heads, the chicken heads in Hansi, but, but there's, there's no not chicken out. I was about to run out, I'm not going to lie, man. Awesome. So um, I got to ask, because I, I know that you didn't operate last year, uh, Craig and Alex, um, obviously with what everything was going on, just from a haunt perspective, because I know you guys are really passionate about bringing like the best show, and it seemed like you kind of waited to the last minute. You're like, oh, we really want to do this. We really want to do this. And then you had to pull the plug. So how how hard was it on, on both of you to not be able to haunt last year? Uh, it was terrible. I mean, we just, I mean, I think the worst part, I, it took me a lot longer to actually process it myself. I was super bummed out about telling the 150 plus people that produced this thing that, hey, we're not hanging out. We're not doing this. We're not scaring people. Um, that was a huge bummer to actually make the announcement to our, to our family. Yeah. It's called family of freaks. And, and like I said, it took me a good month to process it. I was in a, I was in a piss mood for, for weeks and weeks. And I'm like, why am I so grumpy? Oh yeah, that's right. We're not doing Fright Nights. <laughs> yes. It, it, it was, it was so sad not having Fright Nights last year or yeah. Enigma, you know? Mm. I don't remember how you process it, Alex, because I didn't really see you that much because we were kind of <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was the same feeling. Um, you know, October was very strange to uh, a lot of people. So it was, I mean, it was you know, it was a good time off. It was a good breather, but also you know, it was it was bummed out that every um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I looked at my time and was like, you know, we sh we should be doing this right now. Yeah. So yeah, it was a big bummer, but I yeah. think it was a very well deserved rest. Sure. So yeah, <laughs> getting but, pumped up for this year. Yes. Yeah. Looking forward yeah. to this year. It's like I look forward to it every year. So have, not having it last year really bummed me out. But so uh, I, yeah. I would imagine it'll be twice as intense this year because they're so well rested. Three times intense it's, this year. I mean, exponentially. <laughs> yes, exponentially. There's already in the chat that everyone Yeah, knows. everybody was so sad. Everyone knows I'm scared of spiders, too. So And, yeah, Melissa there. is scared of spiders. Yeah. yeah. So Why would you say that? That's in, It's already in the chat, so. I mean, it's... <laughs> oh, okay. And I do startle easily. And, uh, yeah, and yeah, we're happy yeah. that it's back. They have, like, a, a manila folder on you. I know. <laughs> just like... <laughs> Files. There's a, there is a big spider in there, so that's just for you. Nice. Good to know. Somewhere. It's Us in there. Holding somewhere. a chainsaw. Right oh, holding a chainsaw. Eight little chainsaws. <laughs> That would be ridiculous. <laughs> uh, I, I will admit, you know, when we did make a trip to South Florida, we did a couple of haunts down there, Horrorland, Miami, and uh, we mm -hmm. did the Extreme Action Park to Hunting at Dustfield Springs. That was fun. That was a it, lot We fun. had a really good time, yeah. but on the way home, even though we had a really good time, yeah. it wasn't the same. It wasn't. It really Because, it because did, Fright Nights yeah. is usually our last stop on the way home because yeah. it's the northernmost point. And, um, and it was just like... It was just like, man, we really we missed you. Yeah, guys. we did go to South Florida for um, Extreme and Horrorland yeah. drive through, and it, it just felt weird being there, not doing Fright Nights and yeah. Enigma. You know what I mean? It's like so, a staple. Yeah. 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 Thank you. We yeah. flirted with we flirted with other versions of Fright Nights, it, it, the drive through being one of them. Mm -hmm. But you know, since it's not our bread and butter, we didn't really want to put out some um, attempt at a thing because we've got our formula, and our formula relies on that personal edge and uh there's nothing wrong with the drive through i like them i think they're effective especially if they're done by someone who's very well versed in it yeah but uh, it just wasn't our bag so it, it was a bummer uh but there was plan b's and c's and d's but none of them none of them could really uh be effectively achieved so we just figured it's better to just fold the cards yeah we yeah. ran into steven at uh postmortem motor manor at, at old town yeah. and he was talking about something like you guys were planning on doing like a like a haunted speedo car wash uh, that was, what? Did you say no, haunted? Was, wait, 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 wait. Back up a bit. Did you say haunted speedo car wash? That's is, what that what you, is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> John, that was that was just going to be at his house. Oh, oh, okay. oh a home haunt. That's uh, yeah. That's, yeah that's, every Sunday, every Sunday in October, Steve does that. A lot of people don't. Uh, that. I think that's Fright Nights After Dark. There. That's awesome. Fright it's called uh, it's called the Banana Hammock Drive Through. Wow. The haunted banana hammock wow. drive through. He's got like he's got like the. You missed it. You missed it. That's it. 
He never mentioned this to me. I never I, heard well, about I miss, this. You're not Johnny Bronto from Haunt Scene, so you don't get you all should, the inside I'm, I'm Melissa, co-host of Haunt Scene. This is true. You know about half of what I know. I should know about half of you know, Maybe, maybe you know 75%. You should tell me. Okay. Yeah. All right. And you stay in the loop, then. Yeah. All right. So here are the hours and everything. If you go to MyFrightNights.com, you get all the information. Uh, do you do pre-sales for, for online ticketing? Because I don't think that that's live yet, or maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. As a matter of fact, Alex, t- tell them about, there's another cool thing that we do that people don't really know about that much. Um, our tickets will be um, going online in September. Okay. okay. Um, we haven't really picked a date yet, but we're working on that pretty hard. And then um, the on October 7th, Craig could talk a little bit about what we do on that day. Uh, so. Back to the tickets, though. What I want, what I was prompting you for, Alex, was uh, we do a flash sale, which is like a half off Ooh. sale. Oh, yeah. And so the flash oh, yeah. only lasts like maybe three or four days, and you can scoop tickets for any day at half the price. Ooh, that's, that's such a good deal. Best we're going. So uh, yep. look for the flash sale. Fo- obvious statement. Follow us on both uh, platforms, and you will be well advised when the flash sale is coming. Oh, sure. And it starts, and then it ends. So you got to get on that. You got to click. You got to click through, bust out that credit card, and make it happen. Yeah. Um, the seventh, which is listed here on the calendar, is our BTS, our behind the scenes. And we took a page from all of the amazing haunts that we visited over the years on the legendary haunt tours and such of taking people, you know, behind the curtain, as we call it, and showing them how this monster actually works. And uh, it's very, it's a very cool and humbling uh, thing as well, because it is not some like real slick produced thing. It is, um, it's tough as nails and it's badass, but it is not uh, a very slick thing. It's, it kind of gives your home haunters an idea of, hey, you know, this is only a few shades of gray off of what mm-hmm. I'm doing. And that's a cool idea. And I think I could actually do that. And so it's really, uh, it's beneficial to everybody, everyone from who's trying to do a haunt to, man, I wonder how the heck they do that. Uh, so it's a beautiful thing. And it's it's always well attended. It's, it's a limited amount of tickets. So people got to jump on that as well, because we only do it for one night. And uh, there's only like four or five tours. I can't remember. I think it's four. And it fills up like that because we can't pile that many people into right. the house at once. Um, That's awesome. and they get to the, the each house is is the, your tour guide is the actual haunt designer. So um, you're picking their brain. Uh, you can pick Alex's brain if you want. Our makeup coordinator is there. Our wardrobe coordinator is there. I'm there. Uh, so anyone can ask anything about anything, and we're not uh, like, oh, that's an industry secret, or more like, uh, here, here's the industry secret that everyone in the industry knows. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, very. Uh, you guys do such a great job. It's it's such a like it's you such do. a well done. It's a haunt. very fun interactive haunt, yeah. and Good. I, you, great you actors. guys all do great. All the actors are great, you know, and very interactive. I love it. Yeah. All <clears throat> right, so uh, this is a really bad map because wow, I forgot to. I'm sorry. I just wanted to illustrate <laughs> that this is. In oh, here's the address because you need the address. It just looks like a map, and you just put right nice. That's exactly <laughs> what happened. I just wanted I had to zoom out, and it is right off the turnpike. So if you're heading from like Orlando, get on the turnpike, head south, uh, and you'll be right there. I, I'm so sorry. This Go is, down this, this road. This is and the worst right map nice. I've ever put together. But but here here I'll redeem myself. So uh, being yeah. that our audience is mainly based out of Orlando, I'm sorry, America, if you happen to be in Central Florida, you can get down to Fright Nights in like less than three hours. And the way Tyler drives, it's like an hour and a half. It's an hour and a half, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, easy, super duper easy to get to, well worth the trip uh, down there. So do the haunts. There are, so there are some other haunts in the area as well. We'll talk about that uh, later. Uh, and then I've got your haunt descriptions here. So do you guys want to go through your three houses this year? Nice. Yes, absolutely. All right. So I just put together like just some, this is not like concept art or anything. This is just me uh, putting, putting what Alex, thank you for saying this. Uh, and I don't, I don't think this has been made public yet. No. Oh, like no, you guys seen exclusive. Boom. Yeah, you guys, you guys are seeing it for the first time. Yay. Oh man, take that, great. Tim Tracker. Yeah, Tim. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who wants to know, uh, it, it'll. Uh, I mean, if they didn't get it here, it'll eventually will be on the website. We always put the uh, the themes on the website. We find the themes to be super important. Some people um, pass over that whole thing, and some people are completely into it and want to want to delve into it. The Curse of the Siren. Um, 
is a uh, is just what you think when you think siren, not like siren on an ambulance. Siren like the the uh, beasts that call Ooh, ships. Show me, show me over. that shirt. Show me that. Show me that shirt right I'm there. I'm sorry, what? Oh. I have a graphical illustration of this. Oh. What oh, a great. siren is. It is like this. I want to thank uh, our buddy over at uh, Leviathan Artworks. There we go. Okay. Siren you killing go. you. There we go. Done. So you are you are the that's poor not, soul that's uh, been been set ashore um, in this haunt is uh, designed by one of our new designers and she's uh, also wardrobe uh, man. She's, she's the wardrobe master and she's also been uh, on our makeup team and still continues to do makeup for us. But she is designing a house for the first time. Her name is Becky Osborne. And she uh, came up with this great theme of something that we never really touched on before. So it will be a throwback into time. It will be a, a you know, a period piece. And it's all based around the siren uh, concept of being, you know, lured onto shore, and then who knows what happens after that? That's You're gonna nice. find out. Happened to me a couple times in my life. <laughs> He's looking. <laughs> He's... Yeah. Yeah. You want to you tell me about that? No. I want to know. No, Story time to. with Johnny. No, no. Oh, can you do a dramatic reading? The, no. Do you want me to do a dramatic do a reading? Do a dramatic reading. Yeah, I love the dramatic I reading. Did. The other ones went so bad, though. I like like lost my touch. But it's great. All right, I I'm gonna do it. a dramatic do reading. It, do it. Do it. Do it. Are we ready? Yes. All right. Curse, curse of the siren. Ooh. Ooh, it's gonna touch. For as long as anyone can remember, the <laughs> seaside it. town of Scylla has attracted more than its fair share of shipwrecks along its coast. Some say it is nothing more than the unfortunate currents of hidden rocks, but the elders tell a tale of a village built upon a cursed tomb of sirens. When the sea is silent, their haunting song can be heard luring victims to a watery grave, littering the shore with salty bones and bloated corpses. To escape drowning is to escape death. But your soul is never safe from the curse. Designer Becky Osborne. That was beautiful. <laughs> there we go. That's awesome. I was teared up. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. You should do radio. I should. Movies. Hello. Hey, you, uh, you got, you, you got two more. Oh, you're, oh. Hired. <laughs> you're hired. If you ever put audio on the website, you're hired. There we go. Let me let me know. I take please, me up on that. Please. All right. Yeah. Very cool. I I work for cheap. All right, next one over, uh, Fatal Fables. Now, now, just before we move on, we did have some houses in 2019. Is anything coming back from your last iteration of Fright Nights? Um, Fatal Fables would be the one that's a closest uh, thing to a, a repeat, but we never do repeats. We always flip things on their head. Um, I think it was Twisted Tales in 2019, and it's yeah. – uh, it's as you can see, Jeremy Schroeder and Jeremy is uh, like the veteran of veterans, him along with Brad Kane that Alex mentioned earlier are the reasons that I actually even got out to Fright Nights at all. I, mm -hmm. I chased them out there as a set designer. And so Jeremy's been with us forever and uh, he's bringing another one of his signature badass haunted houses out there. And this will be um, for fans of Fright Nights. They will recognize things from Twisted Tales, but it will Ooh. not be the same house. Do you remember the bed? I do remember the bed. The bed was Wasn't it the, the bed someone jumped through the window? No, that was the that was the one all the way on the left. That was like the asylum yeah, yeah. house. So the bed that's was different. Bed. Yeah. The okay. cuckoo's nest. I do remember the bed. That the was, bed was uh, awesome. Yeah, that was cuckoo's nest. He was yeah. so accommodating too. Like he popped out and got me and you got lost in that. Haunt, I did get lost. And then you disappeared for like ten minutes. I, How you do that in a haunt, I don't know. I don't, I don't even remember. And then he waited and then he scared you. I think someone took me and threw me back out. I think that's what happened. <laughs> I got lost multiple times. Did you get lured by a siren? I did. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to find the exit. Yeah. No. <laughs> All right. Fatal Fables. Uh, would you Would you like another dramatic please, reading? Please. Please. Dramatic reading. Yes. yes. Do please. it. Let's do it. Please. Damn. The Sideshow has come to town, led by the one and only infamous Cornelius Venator. To some, he's considered a visionary. To many others, he's a charlatan peddling snake oil and broken dreams. Cornelius invites you to step beyond the court, technicolor blur, and venture into a place beyond reason and reality where childhood tales take on nightmare, nightmarish mm -hmm. forms only to make you question your own sanity. Not many people escape Mr. Venator's terrorizing web of fables. Will you? You kind of scare me, actually. <laughs> You're, are you going to survive? I'm, I okay. think I am. Yeah. Good designer, Jeremy Schrader. Perfect. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Will I, Johnny? Uh, I'll be okay. I mean, I need you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I can spare the other three. In one you, piece? I need. Okay. Gotcha. Just kidding. I love you, Tyler, Kira, and Lily. So, uh, fatal, fatal fables. Uh, what do you, what do you got going on with this one? 
Um, you know, it's going to be, uh, and we, and we've played with this a few times, actually Alex played with it long, long time ago, uh, with like a grim tales kind of thing, brothers grim kind of thing. It's taking stories that everyone's familiar with or not everyone, but a lot of people and, you know, and then turning them more twisted, more dark, more horror. And, uh, and Jeremy's really good at that kind of thing. Cause you know, he's an avid reader. He's an avid horror fan. So he, he's good at, um, taking these things and taking them to a place that they haven't been before perhaps, or, or twisting them or combining them with something else, uh, else, or, or, you know, having a character in there that you wouldn't expect. So that that's kind of what it's going to be for lack of a better. And I don't want to give away what fables we're talking about, but you know, if you, if you went to your children's books or your brother's grammar, or those types of things, uh, fairy tales, um, you're going to find a lot of that stuff in this haunted house. So it's, it's kind of, uh, I don't want to say the word whimsical, but you know what I'm saying? It's kind of familiar in nice. that, People will know what they're what they're looking at, but they're never going to expect the way that it's the way that oh, it's yeah. coming. Yeah, kind of like um, tales gone wrong, basically. Like the Baba Yaga. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> what? <laughs> are you are you familiar with the Baba Yaga? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there was not. an old show. There, there was not. an old show that that someone told me about recently called Fractured Fairy Tales, and I mm. think it was uh, probably yeah, in the like Fractured Tales. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so. Fractured Tales. Yeah, I, I would say it's it's akin to that but it's not the same thing but yeah okay okay very cool well you know growing up you read all the Grimm's fairy tales and things and yeah. then you as you grow up you kind of forget about them yeah so huh? when you are so when you're like you know uh, exposed to that as an adult it kind of brings out like some primal childish fear you know because yep. that's all grim fairy tales all horror that's basically movies. what they are right yeah. i mean a lot of fairy tale uh, ch kids fairy tales are basically like grim yeah. right yeah They're... like don't eat the porridge yeah someone on the someone on the comment section from our team actually just lacy just mentioned that um for example i'll give you one example take the three little pigs and mix it with clockwork orange Ooh. oh i've never seen clockwork orange i'm just throwing that out there as a possibility of something that you could yeah, okay. That's the movie I need to watch. It. You've never seen. Clockwork I mean, Orange. I've never seen Clockwork Orange. It's terrible, and I mean, good when I say terrible, it's awful. Okay. It's ridiculous. Do you have it on DVD? Yes. Do you like popsicles? I do like popsicles. <laughs> okay, that's all we need to know. <laughs> okay. All right. Ah, <laughs> uh, do you like milk? I love milk. Perfect. Good. Well, we're gonna like, go to the milk bar. I love chocolate milk. Okay. All right. So that's going to be your second house. And somebody's chiming in. A couple of people are chiming in on the in the chat that this is their house. So that's pretty cool. Yay! Uh, thank we'll you, for, you uh, for doing that. We'll, uh, we'll we'll see you there. And the third one. Milk and spider smiley. And you know Molly, what? For this one, I did something I special. That. I changed the title to red <laughs> because it is the Dude. red room. room. Oh, you're so clever, Johnny. I am. You went all out. He, I did. he does. Uh, man, He's great. you know, PowerPoint. You're, you're, uh, let me ask you, do you want to do your, your dramatic reading first? Uh yeah, I can I can do Ooh, that. And we'll talk about reading. it. I think you should. Oh okay. goodness, I see a beat grinder I'm in there. Oh. All right, this Probably. is good. Okay. There are places <laughs> hidden deep inside the abandoned industrial sections of America that are known only to those that can afford such knowledge. Places where the upper echelon can live out their deepest, darkest demands for a price. Red Room is one such place. A place where torture is a game and phobias are part of the playbook. Oh my goodness. Mr. Grimm smiles, supplies the Red Room its elite clientele and its victims. The unsuspecting awaken in a room with no recollection of how they got there. As soon as discover their pawns in, a horrific, in horrific scenes designed for his depraved, wealthy clientele. Though the warehouse they go, through the warehouse they go, like a meat grinder, only the most resourceful will make it out in one piece. Maybe you'll be one of the lucky few. <laughs> Designer Nick Ayala. Okay. <laughs> Just one thing. I see phobias in there. What exactly does that mean? Out of all of that, that's the worst thing. Yeah. Everything else yeah. sounds horrible. In and well, meat, meat, phobia and meat grinder, I'm con I'm a little concerned about. It's uh, like but, this is like hostile on crack. But definitely phobia, yeah, basically. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, what, I mean, so yeah. What does? Not gonna, yeah. I don't. I don't think there's going to be a live spiders in there, but I can't confirm that. Well, but, I mean, uh, maybe the night you, that you go, it's okay. going to be more. Uh, you know, more of a character based thing. Like there's, there's uh, each room has a has a. Uh, you know, a custom character that is into one certain thing. And as you make your way through the house, 
that just keeps flipping back and you know back okay back. okay gotcha there will probably be a Torture. gimp like a gimp mask and like a ball gag yeah Damn, that's Johnny? what we're talking Johnny about. Johnny. Like a, a, full, got, a full you, on like leather. You got latex some kind suit. of imagination, don't you, Johnny? Like cat of nine tails. <laughs> it's know? dark. It's Let's dark. just put it that way. It's, I think it's, it's the. Uh, it's red. As far, as far as twisted, I think it's the darkest it's, thing. It's before. a dark red room. Right. Okay. Fifty okay. shades of red. Fifty shades of red. Now, take... uh, let me take this opportunity to to shout out Nick Ayala. Uh, Nick is one of many veterans uh, that we have. That have been uh, been an actor He's for. Hey Nick. Hi, Nick. Hey Nick. I hope you're on. Um, and he is. Yeah, there he is. Evil awaits within. He says. <laughs> and uh, so what we're doing is, you know, a lot of us have designed over the years, but we need to move on. And so there, that makes room for new designers. And Nick is Nick is an example of this. And uh, we, of course, there's this whole uh, try to promote from within kind of thing going on as well. So this is uh, Nick's first year designing. Um, and of course there, there's a big team behind him, so he's not on his own, but it is an exciting year for Nick and Nick is bringing his first, uh, concept to the table. And Alex and I was, uh, we're looking over this concept, I think maybe even more than a year ago, or, and now it's been two years because he brought it to the table as a possible concept a while ago. And, uh, it seemed quite feasible and, and actually quite scary. So we figured let's let's give it a roll, and I think Nick is actually going to have help from other veteran actors as well. So that's kind of a cool thing because yeah, it is cool. It, it mirrors what uh, Alex and I went through of being originally <clears throat> on the cast and then making our way onto the creative side of things. So it's cool. We wish we wish Nick Nick the best, and we got his back. We're going to make a badass on our house. All so right, uh, right. I got I've got a question, Alex. Uh, you get to, you take this one. How far in advance do you know the themes of the the houses? Like like, are you already planning the next season while the current season is going on? We are planning the next season, um, and we already have the themes and 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 the people to do it. So that's awesome. So, yeah. So yeah, we 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 think about themes all you know every year. Um, more than uh, we we got a couple secrets that we're gonna and next year is gonna be our 20th anniversary. So. Oh wow! Oh awesome! So yeah. So you're gonna have so. six houses. The other thing we do, <laughs> no, <laughs> the other thing we do is um, you know if anything if anything's not operating at full you know at full efficiency or whatever, that's the kind of things that we're talking about. It might be the the night that you guys come the second week yeah. and we're like, man, we got to really not do that again or make sure that we twist this so that it works better yeah. or you know and and it's constant adjustments it, it, by the by the third night i've got a notebook page full of bullet points of things that we're going to try to do or never going to do again based on that so it's very much a uh, you know it's an amoeba we're always working on it we're always massaging it we're always trying mm -hmm. to get it as as good and as scary as it possibly can be so so it sounds like the <sighs> event evolves not only from year to year, but from weekend to weekend. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. Awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Last weekend, it's insane. The actors are so geared up and we've oh, bought yeah. them so much and, and tweaked their little rooms so much. And they've gotten so inspired by their other actors and talking with each other and sharing ideas about how to scare and what to do and how to scare and how to walk and all that stuff that yeah by the last weekend it's just i can imagine i mean they're already geared up by the time we get there i can imagine what the last weekend is <laughs> yeah i don't know i don't yeah. know what you slip I mean, everybody go, before they, we show they go up crazy yeah <laughs> <laughs> they go insane we, <laughs> we give everybody your pictures oh, yeah. <laughs> just just post yeah. it on the wall and like, and like a case wanted. of monster the case of Yo. monster yeah Mala manila folder yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is there is there any like themes or, or stuff you you have planned for the future that you've always wanted to do that you haven't done yet? <clears throat> um, yes, there is. Um, I have a concept with Kelly, another hot designer that we have, and she's also my wife. Mm -hmm. um, we're bringing a theme in probably in the next two to three years um, to Friday nights, and it's gonna it's gonna be um, it's gonna be a good one. So yeah. Oh, you're not telling us what it is? No, can't. No, no, no spoilers no, yet? No, 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 no. That's fine. Um, Just let us know. No. Spoilers. Um, no, can't say it. Killer I'll, I'll, what killer else, without, without her permission. So, if she's on the group chat. Not even a Hansi um, exclusive. 
That's Spoiler. all. Right. We'll just we'll save that one. We'll save for it for the later. Future. Okay. Yeah. We'll save it for the future. Yeah, you guys, gotcha. you got about two, three years. Okay. Yeah. I look forward next to it. Next year, uh, I will say, in related news, next year we are going to bring back the first haunt that Alex and I ever worked on together. <coughs> oh, you're gonna you're gonna be that bold. Yeah, for the 20th anniversary, really? we're going to bring back the Smiths. Oh, and the Smiths 20 with, uh, years. Oh, very cool. That's exciting. It was a, a, a clown house, but uh, we designed it so where uh, it was just called the Smiths, so no one knew it was a clown house until they got inside of it. Oh. And uh, that Alex was the first room, and I'd say at least 30% of the patrons went out of the uh, chicken door, as we call it, in that room. So he really kept it flowing because most of the people didn't go through the house because clown phobic oh. were not ready for it. So we're going to... We're going to bring that back. There's no secret anymore, but we're going to bring it back um, carnival style. And it's, uh, you know, it's an old it's an old uh, tried and true theme of murderous clowns. But uh, I think we do it uh, quite a lot of justice because we love it. We love it so yep. Much. That's we can look forward to that next year. That's what a haunt should do. They should have like a haunt and like the first room just be normal, like skeletons, whatever. The second room just be every phobia ever. <laughs> and then like a huge glowing chicken door. <laughs> And then, and then people would just Johnny, leave. Johnny, no don't, refunds. Don't give them my oh, yeah. Johnny. Yeah. Brad, uh, <laughs> like, wow, our, we... <laughs> our other veteran, our other veteran designer, Brad, just said uh, we're going to bring back Country Bills as well, which is a uh, cannibal meat market. Okay, so I'm happy to hear that. Nice. Hey, Johnny, you want to build a house? Let's 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 build a haunt. <laughs> hey, man, if I'm available in the off season, do it. Let's let's do it. I would love to. <laughs> just, I'd love to be just like. You fly on the wall for that kind of thing. Just have his dramatic voice throughout the house. Yes, and then he laid a <laughs> two by four. That'd be perfect. All right. So those are going to be the three themes <coughs> this year. So, yeah. um, Wait, so there's three houses. Don't you guys normally have four? Well, they had four last time. Yeah. So are you going to take the same amount of space and divide it into three instead of okay? So it'll be the same, roughly the same amount of scares per foot. Okay. Okay. Yep. But it'll just be three separate houses. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. So same same square footage, just just reconfiguring it just for that. Yeah. Yep. All right. We're just coming back. Uh, you know, we're coming back in in a uh, a more focused and conservative way right now because you know you got to do that now. Right. It's a yeah. Bit, it's yeah. That's true. Different times. Bit. I know. Different times. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> so we've got some pictures. In case you're curious about this, uh, just pull these from your social media and some other things here. Uh, I see this. These clowns are very prominent. Is, what is what company makes that mask? Clown slash. Oh, I don't know. I already it's, forgot. Oh, uh, I know. I know it. I have it on the like tip of my tongue. I just don't remember. Yeah, we saw I it just don't Trans remember. Gorg Gorgalore. No, Gorgalore no. makes makes no, makes. No, makes, uh, makes oh, okay. Yeah. Makes. That's makes, right. okay. Starts with a C, maybe. If somebody knows what creepy the mask something? maker is, it's not creepy. It's not creepy collection. No, no, it's not creepy collection, but it's a, I don't know. Creature, I, I don't, creature collection, creature, creature corpse, creature corpse. Maybe, cre maybe creature corpse. Okay, we were, maybe. I remember seeing creature corpse. Yeah, because they were, yeah, because they were they were really cool to us. We got yeah. tons of pictures from them at Trans World. Uh, we'll uh, we'll figure it out. If somebody knows in the chat, let me know. The clown mask is made by Dead, Dead Rabbit, Rabbit Studios. Studios. Apparently, we were way off. That was way yeah. Anyways, way off of that. shout Wait. out to Dead Rabbit Studios. Yes. Yeah. Great shout outs. That, or, that or is that one in the background at the bottom left? <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure yeah, it out. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, Craig. Yeah, we'll uh, Google it really anyways. quick. Yeah, Google it. Okay. Um, I am not going to Google it. Somebody Google it and put it in the chat. Yes, yeah, someone Google it and put it in the chat. So we got this here. I love the diversity of all the props. It's kind of neat because uh, thank you, Alex, for bringing us backstage last time we were there. You have so much stuff. Uh, you have like more stuff than you could ever use. Oh yeah, I remember you took us to the back there. Crazy, yeah, that was, that crazy was really stuff. Cool. And yeah. we got to go up top and see the overlook. Oh, you, that? you mean yeah. the, this overlook? Yeah. What? There it is. Johnny, there it is. you had it already. In it's set. crazy. I love it. So one thing I didn't realize. But that's with all the lights on. We saw it with all the lights off in action, though. One of the one of the things that I did not realize because it's such a quality haunt that. You break this all down every year, right? That's break insane. it all down. They take this, they empty this whole Wait, space. Wait, you empty every this year. every year? Yeah. And just yeah. every year, every oh, season. Oh, wow. That is I nuts. always thought it was like left there. Oh, okay. I didn't know no. that was cool. I wish. <laughs> we wish. Wow. Yeah, we did the overlook um, over the hotel two years ago, remember? 
Uh, the, yeah, there are like a bunch of catwalks. Yeah. And there are dog toys There's that you can toys. mess with you people as they walk through. You can throw down and mess yeah. with people. I scared so many people. That was people. also one of my it favorite awesome. ones. Water yeah. guns. Yeah, water, yeah. water guns. Yeah, absolutely. We do tons of stuff from above. That's really cool. And it's 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 so effective. It's an indescribable it view, especially when like mm-hmm. the whole haunt is going and the show lights are on. Yeah. And you just look out over this just massive, <laughs> uh, three four houses of just insanity and people are just getting the you know crap yep. scared out of them. It's it's a it's a once in a lifetime experience that was really cool we haven't we haven't been up on a lot of catwalks or yeah or, uh, i've never seen yeah. like that side of a haunt before from up top so it was really cool to see it's nuts it's yeah, nuts it i really up there is. just to enjoy all the screams and everything the music mm-hmm. making together it's a cacophony of just of just oh awesome. yeah especially seeing it in action from up there and just watching the people go around the catwalks yep. it was really cool i could i could literally sit there all night yeah yeah yep uh it is uh hey freddy's in here for monday Freddy what's Horrendous. up, freddy? What's, what's, up freddy? Freddy? what's up buddy what's up freddy I love right. Freddy. So I it, in in then in this space when it is not being used for haunts, what is this space for? Like, what do they do here with this empty space? We uh we do a lot of shows in there. Um, we do um, rare fruit council shows. We do uh, Mexican dances. Um, our fairs in there. We um that whole that's a actually their show arena that we do all the animals um show animals there. So it's used for um, a lot of different things. Bear Jackson, when our car auctions here, Bear, um, oh, they, wow. they use out as a show floor. So yeah, there's a lot of applications we use this building for. Yep, that's why we can't place, keep it up year round. The same place you see a mint '57 Chevy is the same place someone peed their pants. <laughs> same spot. Same spot. Same spot. Well, at least they didn't pee in the car because that would be bad. Uh, so same what is oil your... stain. What is your build time like? Like, what is your like build season? Like, when do you start, and then when do you break we everything down? We start um, the second week of August. Oh, so you've already started. Um, right yeah, we've already started. And then, um, if you guys want to, you know, come down to Florida or come down oh to West God. Palm, oh, that would be you. awesome. <laughs> yeah, and the, they're going to hand show us like, a, screw, a screw gun. And a hammer. <laughs> Put us to work. Well, you guys get, came get all the way work. down. Yeah. Might as well put up <laughs> some walls. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, and then um, yeah, we we finish around October. We have our dress rehearsals, and then we break it down next week, and on um, when we, we're finished. Nice. So, cool. how how long does it take to break an entire? Oh, that building Damn. takes about three and a half weeks. Wow. Because in three and a half weeks, I break all that down, get the building ready. And the next day after Thanksgiving, we're actually building the uh, our fair um, in there, our fair part of the portion there. So, the animals. so I would imagine you have at least one storage unit. No, we have a big warehouse. Um on our property and probably a good dozen semi-trailers oh very cool so good guess johnny no it's a 10 by 10 you were right <laughs> just, you just pack everything really tight that's yeah. awesome it's so like jenga everything's yeah everything's stackable everything. boxes and stack that's awesome so, so it's a mash dash to get everything cleaned and prepped and put away so i, I, labeled I, and like really Tetris. I would imagine <laughs> oh, doing, yeah. doing this almost Great. 20 years you've probably amassed a ton of stuff it's, I mean, think about, uh, you know, almost 20,000 square feet of stuff. Yeah. You know, and it is spread out, you know, it's hallways, it's this, it's that, but lights, it, it cords, you know, fogger, just the foggers alone could fill up a 10 by 10. Wow. Yeah, it's nuts. And usually yeah. uh, the last time we were there, because we don't always get a chance to do this because we're usually doing the houses, but you usually have like a little miniature or a little scare zone outside. Oh, the midway. Yeah, is that some? Yeah. Well, is that something you're gonna do you this year? Back this year? Okay. We are bringing a scare zone. Um, two of them, one in the back and one in the front. Oh. Meaning, as you exit, you're gonna exit to a, um a scare zone, and before you get to the queue lines, you're gonna be entering a scare zone. Okay. So very cool. Yeah, I love the uh, photo ops at the mm-hmm. very very end. Yeah. That's, yep. that's always been a, been a really good time. That's when Marissa runs. She runs. So, she so she I, doesn't stop. Oh, see, if I run, I run right into the scare zone. Is that what you're saying? I like run out the exit yeah, yeah, yeah. into another one? Do you want to tell you, that story? You remember, you remember that, right? 
Johnny and I were actually talking about it before the show. Oh, so hold, hold on, hold yeah. on, because we actually have... We have a clip. Uh, do you have a clip? We do have a clip. Though? Hey, look at this hey! familiar person. Hey, there it is. So this is uh, uh, Rachel. Th this is Rachel and uh, Stephen Kunkel at the very end there. Hey, Stephen. Uh, yeah, hi, Stephen. Hi. Yeah, she was the one that actually chased me out of hotel all through the scare zone in the back and out there, to the gates. There's another part to that video. story. So I was, I was running out of the house... And then she stopped and asked Alex if it was okay to continue chasing after me. And Alex was like, "Yes, go uh, get her." Yeah. And no, 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 no. Let me, let me, let me. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Because you, you were gone, you, you weren't tell. there. I ran. I ran. So Melissa's okay. running out of this haunt. I've ne <laughs> I've seen her run out of haunts before, but I've never seen her run like I this. I actually sprinted. Yeah. Full, full Melissa full sprint. Force. You know. And uh, Rachel's chasing her out of the house. Stops, and she's like, <laughs> and, and Alex is like get her like he nods and she's gone like like boom and then and then melissa like looks back and realizes she's still being chased yeah and she runs all the way out into the fair i kept i didn't realize she was gonna chase me that far because i didn't hear when she asked alex so Ooh. i stopped and i was like oh crap she's still chasing me and i still run all the way out yeah, to where the security is by the tickets and she yeah, there's going. a point that they uh, there's a point that they have to stop and then um just come back into the haunt but that's when she looked at me and I was like, do it. That's when she took off. So I, yeah. She's like, yes! Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I didn't expect that. I thought it was over. I'm like, oh crap, she's still coming. So I, st so I sprinted. And she was screaming your name. Yep. Yeah. She and she's, your name. she screamed my name the entire time. She goes, Melissa, everyone heard it. She screamed it the entire this, time. This is how we make all the, all the good friends. Yeah. yeah. And then... Yeah. And then I went back with Tyler. It was me and Tyler, and they destroyed us again in the house. It was Rachel, Steve, and a whole bunch of other yeah. uh, maids in the hotel. That and they covered us terrifying. with sheets and grabbed us. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, okay, so talk about that. Where are we at with time? I want to make sure I hit up everything. Okay, we got 11 minutes left. All right, so one of the, the really unique things, and I've actually never seen this executed this way at a haunt, is you don't build traditional facades. Um, you have on this huge warehouse area, like this huge building you have the haunts in, you do projection mapping and that serves as the, as the facade of the haunt. And it's not just like a static thing. It is an animated, full on crazy show, yeah, I, almost yeah. an attraction in itself. I do like the projections that you that they can do watch. The and then yeah. they have like dancers and music mm -hmm. and stuff like that, DJ. So it's a whole kind of night right there. I couldn't, I couldn't find the footage that I took. But I, I found a couple pictures online. So just get real quick, uh, what is the what's the process for developing all this crazy <coughs> projection mapping? Well, um, I, I'm gonna go first. Okay. We used to build facades, and um, we went away from building facades to um, hire a company. and And Craig will tell you, um, you know, all about them. And we've been best friends with them, and they love coming every year. And 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 doing whatever we want and um we have all that space that they could do pretty much the whole entire facility so go ahead craig want to shout out i mean uh the, the actually building a facade is fun and it's cool obviously because it's cubic and you can get people inside of it and it, it's immersive before you're even in the house but you know it's a uh, it's a good bit of budget and as you just saw from the inside shots we've got enough stuff to build and tear down so the less of that that there is, the better. So um, we are the fairgrounds partners with Live Nation, the concert producer, because they are there on grounds with their uh, amphitheater that they throw concerts at. And one of their assets was this this uh, very talented gentleman by the name of Jasper Mosher. Uh, his company was called New Vision at the time, and now it's called Electric Dream Machine. Mm -hmm. And he is one of, I can say this with all honesty, he's one of the first people to ever do video mapping in North America. Like he's one of the guys that people were like, wait, what? He was doing that stuff where the building folds in on itself and all that jazz. And he was doing it for like Halloween and um, and some of the bigger um, music festivals. And so Live Electric Nation, Forest. Yeah, Li Electric Forest. And Live Nation Forest. was like, hey, uh, Fright Nights, what do you think of uh, collaborating with Jasper? And we saw his portfolio and we're like, duh, absolutely. So he came out in that first year, of course, he brought, you know, all 100 projectors and every laptop he ever owned and everything. And uh, we had a grand old time. We of course hit it off on a creative level because he's, he's a visionary. Uh, but one of the best things that eventually dialed in was the facades. He used to project on our facades, putting stuff in the windows and making rats run across the baseboards and whatever. And then it became, 
why do we even have facades, dude? Let's let's go right on the actual building that Fright Nights is inside of, um, because there's so much depth to these these uh, video mapping scenarios yeah. anyway. And that's where it became. And then the sky's the limit because you're not even you're just dealing with a screen. You're not dealing with any kind of uh, three dimensional aspects. So that's when he really started to fly. I mean, he's he's much more into doing things inside the haunted houses. But we've, you know, we've kind of asked him to really make a wow factor out there because people are in line for a while. And like you mentioned, Johnny, they've got live entertainment. There's a DJ. There's dancing going on. There's a little bit of pyrotechnics going on. There's a freak show aspect that we also have fire breathing with Cody and stuff like that. But um, at the end of the day, there's at least this cool visual thing that's constantly going, constantly changing. And it's on like a, a three hour loop. You never yeah. really see the same thing. It's insane. Yeah. I mean, I mean, just like they said earlier, a 20,000 square foot building, and they have different entrances for the houses. Uh, in this case, it'll be three houses, and it is all seamless across the entire side of this huge building. It is seen, you have to see it to believe it. It's hard to describe in words. Um, I probably found like not the best picture of it, but trust us, it is one of the coolest things you can see in any haunt in Florida. It's really unique. Mm -hmm. uh, really makes Fright Night stand out. The haunt is amazing, uh, but you got you got to see that facade. It's just crazy, Thank crazy, you. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, really cool. All due respect to Jasper. Jasper yeah. is the mastermind mm -hmm. behind that. He he takes notes from us, but then he takes our notes and, and turns them into uh, just absolutely amazing things that we we couldn't even perceive before we we pitched him the, our little ideas. So yeah, he's, so he's cool. one of them guys. He's one of them guys. Yeah. So that is that is really cool. Now we but as we wind this down, so um I heard I heard that you have a ton of amazing characters mm -hmm. and they're all amazing. Everybody that we've met and talked to they're has just great. been great. You're mm -hmm. all great. Everybody in the chat, everybody listening to this, you're all amazing. We love you guys. There is a certain character in this picture though. And I heard that this particular character on this particular night was like the most disgusting, depraved, evil, <laughs> zombie, smelled bad, didn't brush his teeth, horrible character that they've ever had at Fright Nights. A true legend for the one night that he was there. <laughs> Are you talking about Tyler? Hey! Tyler! <laughs> Jesus Tyler. Jesus Tyler. Tyler Make us look turn. good. Uh, so he, uh, he 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 came out and um, he um he enjoyed himself. That's for sure. I hope uh I hope that our makeup artist got to his teeth because his teeth are so shiny white right there. I know, so right? I know it doesn't fit with the rest of his costume. <laughs> yeah. uh, we're just messing with you, Tyler. Tyler, Tyler, the intern. Yeah, but he he went down and scare act in Fright Nights and yeah, he had a lot of fun. He, yeah. yeah, he said he had an amazing time. He, he had a great time. It seems like all the characters are having a really good time. I know you do really good with like, you know, uh, making sure they do breaks, all that good stuff. So mm -hmm. we've heard nothing but good things as far as the, how the characters are. I think he are. was in the greenhouse portion of the hotel uh, yep. towards the end. Yeah. Yep. yep. And apparently he did like a little public speaking at the end. That's that's what I heard yeah, you talk to all, everybody. Yeah, like, right, all in front of the actors. That's awesome. Yeah, he told us. Yeah, it was awesome. Good job, Tyler. Good We're job, so Tyler. proud of you in retrospect. Way to go. Yeah. I'll take this opportunity to say that we, uh, Alex and I, I'll, I'll speak for Alex on this because it's true. Um, we value our actors more than anything else. We say it a million times over. You guys know this from visiting haunted houses. You can build the most amazing sets in the world and you can have a, a $5 million to spend. Mm -hmm. But if you put a dud actor in, in that beautiful room, that beautiful room has been erased because it's all about that person's spirit. Oh, yeah, that of course. That, it's, that it's, is, all of, it's all about the actors. The actors make what the haunt is. That's if you didn't the, have the actors, you wouldn't have the haunt. That is the perfect description of, of mm -hmm. your haunt because I love the detail in the haunt from what I can see, but I actually remember, not, not to discount what you do in the haunt, but sure. I remember more of the characters and what they do exactly. to us than I do, I, I do the, yeah. the entirety of the haunt. I remember like the interactions they and, do such and the a things that they did in the house yeah. and how interactive them. they were. We annoy them with critical feedback and we, we almost to the point of annoyance, you know what I mean? Like, hey, what if you, what if you, what if you? Yeah. And, and, and it's that fine tuning that makes it because it's uh, not to be corny, but even Disney will prescribe to this. It's making a memory and leaving a lasting it impression is. on someone. Mm -hmm. And that can be as simple as what someone said to you or how they looked at you or how they stood or held their body. And so that's what we, that's what we're working on more than anything. 
the sets, yes, absolutely, they're they're important because you know the ambiance really carries things. But actor is it. I mean, the family of freaks, that picture right there, that is a ninety nine point nine percent some of the most dedicated and awesome people that we've ever yeah. worked with. And it repeats year after year. We get a 70% return oh, wow. on actors from the previous year. So oh, for we, sure. We, yeah. Thank you, actors. We appreciate you. That's very cool. We appreciate you guys too. Yes. <clears throat> All right. So Tyler, good job, Tyler. So good proud job, of Tyler. you. Good job, Tyler. Way to go. All right. So if you're planning your night to go down to South Florida and you want to do a couple hunts, and I know you guys have a really good relationship with them, and they have a really good relationship with you. Um, I would highly recommend, if you're planning on doing Fright Nights, and we're going to say this when we have Enigma on on Thursday yeah, as we well. Have Enigma on Thursday. They are so close together. Like, Enigma and Fright Nights are only 45 minutes-ish apart. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can start off at Fright Nights, go to Enigma. You can totally make it. Or you can go to Enigma, head back up to Fright Nights if you want to. Uh, but we definitely um, do Enigma too. Yeah, as well, yeah, we, Enigma is awesome. We love too. we love them as well. Yeah, we, we love both you guys, Fright Nights and Enigma. And awesome you know, haunts. one thing. Hey guys, one thing that you guys probably don't know is, um, we're so good and we interact with each other so well. Is when they're open and we're not, we're there supporting them yeah. or in their houses acting with them. And then they do the same thing with us when we're open and they're closed. Wow. That's they're, awesome. They're in, at, they're in Friday really nights supportive. acting mm -hmm. in our haunt. So, we, we, you know, there's a big, big group of uh, family. We share we, talent. We, we share, share talent. talent so. we, send, we send ringers over to them and, and they send ringers over to us. And boy, does that we make love the guys I like making Yeah. Yeah, I love I love that in the Han community. You all come in as one. We're all yeah. one big family. Yeah. You know, we all we all love the same thing. That is so. I love that. that, is, that I love is that. Really That's cool. very supportive. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yep. All right, so mm -hmm. uh, definitely do Enigma. Okay, so you got a casting call coming up. Yep. <coughs> on yeah, a, Sunday, yep. September twelfth, and uh, at noon sharp, come out, join this amazing team. Uh, anything about the casting session here you got coming up you want to talk about? I mean, a lot of people ask, you know, do I need to dress up? Do I need to do this? Do I need to, you know, what? If, if you're a creative person and you think, and that even crosses your mind, then the answer is yes. Um, if someone shows up in jeans and a t-shirt, uh, there's nothing wrong with that because if they're a badass, they're a badass. But if someone comes up and they have a character already designed, you know, that's, that's another thing. And they might both get hired. But, you know, if you've got an inkling to do something offbeat, I always say yes. I mean, I'm a bit of a lunatic. I've always done the thing that's more offbeat. But I think that's what makes our family of freaks so powerful is that it's loaded with people who don't give a damn. And they're just like, I'm going to do the thing, whatever that thing is. And so, yeah, bring bring your A game. Um, even if you're – and I will throw this out too because a lot of haunted houses um, might put off the perception, ourselves included, early on that – we only want extroverts. That's baloney. If you're a shy person, we don't care. If you if you have the passion and the and the ability to deliver what we are asking you to deliver, if you come off as a shy person, we're going to put you in the proper place because there's just as much room for creepy as there is for over the top. So everybody come out. Everybody apply. Awesome. There's room for everybody. We've got uh, volunteer positions, paid positions, and uh, and backup lists through the through the gills. So everyone should come out. Nice. nice. Very cool. I love how everybody everybody's so excited in the chat. I know. All the I, I, I don't, so I don't know if we've ever, I love I it. I feel like we're right now the number one hot chat in the in the, in the world. Yay. Just saying. Are. I think we are. are. I think we are, Thanks. Johnny. Thanks. And uh, I think we're, we're going to get the same thing with the Nick yeah. Month Thursday, too. So. Yeah. And then, yeah. All right. <laughs> so here's how you can follow Fright Nights on social media. MyFrightNights.com, Facebook.com slash Fright Nights SFF. Instagram.com slash my fright nights, Twitter.com fright nights SFF. And uh, they do have a YouTube channel if you want to maybe go and watch some of their old uh, trailers and videos. And uh, if you are interested in casting, um, there, there's the email address for that if you want to maybe email ahead. And then here is the phone number. And this one rings right to Alex's phone. I just tried it. <laughs> it better not. It better I not. Have, I have Alex's phone number too. I text, I text him when Tyler and I were heading down. Nice. Yeah. Uh, don't don't give that number out. No, never, never, <laughs> never. I think the YouTube is also has an SFF on it. Not to correct you, Johnny, but if anyone's looking, 
the SFF is South Florida Fairgrounds. So okay. you tag that on. If that is my only spelling error this whole episode, I will take it. Add Fright Nights SFF or just Fright Nights South Florida Fairgrounds. Nights. And make sure you subscribe to their channel uh, right there. And uh, and I think that's all we got for this episode. That's it. This is so exciting. Yeah, this has been so, so much pumped. fun. I don't want to end it. I'm so happy. Did you just? Okay. <laughs> I did. Wow. I'm so sorry. Okay. That's great. <laughs> I just noticed that. All right. And everybody's <laughs> super duper excited here. Okay. So let's go ahead. All right. Thank you so much for being Thank on the show. Thank Any you so last much. minute shout outs? So uh, Alex, go ahead. Any shout outs that you want to give in the morning? Um, just come to casting call. We'll see you there. And if you guys want to come down one day, um, you guys can stay over my house. So I got oh, plenty of room to house awesome. you guys. Weird. Look at that. You guys can come and check out, you know, you can come out, check out Fright Nights in the daytime, and you can also check out Enigma. So, so you can do both of them be, at the same that'd time. Be, so. That would be really awesome. Yes, please. I'm down. Awesome. I will so, probably take you up on that. Yeah. No worries. Sure. Craig, yeah. shout outs. I want, to, uh, I want to lean towards the same thing Alex is leaning towards, which is uh, us looking for more. We're going to have that 70% return, I hope, on the cast, but we're all, always looking for new blood. I mean that in both ways. <coughs> Come out to the casting call. If you're interested in building haunted houses, you can go ahead and contact either of us in any of these channels that Johnny has posted because we're always looking for great people to set, design, paint, build, mm -hmm. do makeup, um act everything is on the table because new talent is uh is is future talent and and that's how this thing got built and that's alex and i are living proof of that i also want to shout out again the cast and specifically my favorite cast member my wife and if you haven't encountered, if you haven't encountered masara on the on the uh midway the disgusting demon swamp witch well you haven't you haven't experienced the true fear yet so okay all right, peace, peace. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay, all right. Thank you so much. Hang out on the Zoom. Thank you. We'll talk in a moment. Let's go ahead and wrap this bad boy up so we can go to Waffle House. I kind of got scared because Oogie, <laughs> Oogie was under the table and he he started licking my oh. leg and I jumped. All right. That was. Yeah. Oh, you know, one <laughs> last thing is I saw a job posting on their site for a, it just said something about Spider Wrangler. I'm good. I'm so good, Johnny. I, I, we'll we'll I, see. I, you know what? I should have never said anything. So uh -huh. I was out there. Well, so. Rachel's behind you, so. Whoa! <laughs> you know, I wouldn't be surprised there, Alex. She would run all the way from South Florida up here. <laughs> awesome. All right, guys, hang out on uh, on Zoom. We'll be right back with you. And thank you guys so much thank for taking guys. some time out yeah. of your day. Uh, love you. Can't wait to see the haunt in October. Oh right, that was awesome. That was a fun show. They're so they are they're awesome. So I love awesome. it. I'm they're so, so great. looking forward to seeing and all them again. all the characters in there. Honestly, that was really cool for all Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you for interacting with us and yeah. talking with us. So sadly, <laughs> we gotta shut this thing down. It's okay. Well, we got a Nigma on Thursday. Fright yeah. Nights can always join in on a Nigma so on Thursday. Next week on the show. Yeah. Next, not next week. On no, no, Thursday, Thursday. On two days. Thursday, this is our final two week two episode two show week we're, we're kind of wrapping up our haunt previews yeah. so uh next next two days from now on thursday august 26th at 8 p.m we're gonna have enigma haunt on and we'll talk to them about their amazing haunt over in boca raton which is just south of where fright nights is so hopefully you can tune mm -hmm. in for, for that sure. Sure. Enigma Sigma die Enigma Sigma die yep uh, make Forever. sure you're following haunt scene on social media we're on everything uh hauntscene.com or we're hauntscene on instagram Twitter, we just hit TikTok. a we just hit a pretty big goal on Email. on instagram so that was awesome Farmer zone. we're not on only fans anymore because we had to we had to cut <laughs> that out. uh Christian email Mingle. us if you have any questions reach out to us in social Bumble. media platforms if you ever, ever have any questions about haunts uh because we will help you uh find haunts that's what we do and i do want to follow our patreon i do want to you want to give a shout out to our Patreon supporters, uh, John Sebastian Laval, Crystal Laval, and Daniel Shreve. Do appreciate you supporting the show. If you would like to support Haunt Scene, please do so. Uh, Patreon.com slash Haunt Scene. And 100% uh, of everything invested in the show goes right back into the show. And uh, that's going to be it for us. So are you ready? Let's do it. Until Thursday. Until Thursday. Until next time. All right, time. folks, have a great night. Until next time, spook easy. As always, happy haunting. Have a good night, guys. Bye. Bye-bye. Right. See ya.
Give me some treats.